Hello and good morning. This is Dr. Himayatullah and uh, I am going to discuss uh, checking unit root in time series data. In my earlier video, uh, I, uh, uh, I showed how to convert uh, a non-stationary CPI into a stationary uh, CPI by taking first difference. In the present video, I am going to check stationarity of a time series called IP where IP stands for industrial production. So let me first uh, uh, open the data. Uh, this is my data and uh, this is my variable of interest which I am going to test for uh, stationarity. So first I would like to uh, double check it and uh, I get this data. Before uh, uh, going to uh, use uh, augmented decay flow test, uh, let me view its uh, line graph. And if I view its line graph, uh, uh, I can, oh yeah, it has a positive trend, upward trend in IP industrial production over time. And it also has a, a constant intercept here, a positive constant or mm -hmm. positive intercept here. So, I can guess that uh, my series has both the constant as well as the uh, trend term in it. So, go to you again and press unit root and uh, you know in the dialog box uh, the test for unit root in level is checked already and in the below it is in intercept. And uh, on the right hand side, there is uh, automatic selection criteria and uh, by default, uh, it has Schwarz info criterion. It has a maximum length of 18 and uh, since I observed that uh, my uh, time series of IP uh, has both trend and intercept, so I will check the unit root at level by checking trend and uh, intercept. After this, I will uh, uh, I will uh, click OK, and uh, after clicking OK, I get I, I get these results. Now, in these results, you can see that both the constant and uh, trend term are uh, statistically significant, but the uh, test value, the augmented decay flow test value. Uh, in absolute is less than the uh, test critical values at 1% level and at 5% level. So I failed to uh, reject the null hypothesis and the null hypothesis is that uh, industrial production or the IP uh, has a unit root. So I can conclude that uh, my time series of IP has got a unit root or I can say it is uh, non-stationary. Now I would like to uh, check how, uh, how can I convert this into a stationary series. So now I will go to view again and uh, uh, unit root test and uh, this time I will check unit root uh, test at first difference level. So I will click on this and by clicking on this first I would like to uh, uh, see uh, at none. And if I click, uh, my uh, augmented Dickey Fuller test statistic in absolute is higher than the test critical values at 1%, 5%, and 10% level. And this can also be confirm, uh, confirmed by looking at the probability of 0 0.000. So it means that uh, when I take uh, first difference of IP, uh, then the data um, is uh, stationary. Uh, let me also check uh, this uh, by uh, including the intercept alone and uh, it may also give me results and the results again. Now this time augmented decay flow test statistic is equal to minus 7.004 and uh, it is higher in absolute than all the three uh, test critical values. Uh, with a probability of 0 0.00. So, um, I am I'm, I'm rejecting the null hypothesis that uh, the first difference of IP has a unit root. So, I can conclude that after taking the first difference, 
the industrial production or IP uh, is now stationary. And uh, if I look at this, now the constant term is uh, also significant. Uh, finally, I must also check uh, stationarity of the IP in first difference by including both the trend and intercept. So, I will click this and uh, this time uh, my uh, results are here. Now, by including both the constant and the linear trend, the augmented Dicky Fuller test statistic is minus 6.9985. And uh, in absolute term, it is higher than first level, first percent level, 1 percent level, test critical value 5 percent and 10 percent level of critical values. But there is one problem here that uh, both uh, the constant and the uh, trend term are uh, not significant. Uh, so, uh, but uh, the results of the uh, uh, augmented Dicky Fuller test by including none or only intercept or both intercept and uh, trend term, uh, the test statistics, the test statistics of augmented Dicky Fuller uh, is uh, highly significant. So, it means that uh, the non stationary data of IP at level has been uh, converted into. Uh, stationary data by converting data to the first uh, difference level. Now, let me compare the graph of the IP at level and the graph of the IP at first, first difference and then we can uh, see, uh, we can see, uh, but uh, for that I need uh, to open the data. So, my data is here. And uh, let me first uh, uh, view the graph of IP at level. Uh, this is the this is the graph of the IP at level without uh, mm, first difference. I will compare this with the uh, taking the graph of the first difference of IP, and so I will. Uh, click this one and now I will uh, view the line graph of the IP series at first difference and uh, it is here. Now, if I compare the two graphs, the one on the right hand side is the graph of the IP at level and it shows, uh, uh, it shows uh, a positive trend over time uh, with a uh, intercept, but when I convert it uh, the data uh, from level to first difference, then I have this graph and this graph, the first difference of IP uh, is evolving around a zero mean. So, it means that uh, the series has now become stationary. This is how uh, we can convert a non-stationary data into uh, a stationary data. I hope you could underst and understand uh, how to do the augmented Dicky Fuller test and then how to uh, use the criteria and you know whether we should use none or we should use only intercept or we should use both intercept as well as trend. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video and in my next video I will be checking the stationarity of uh, another variable. Thank you very much.